San Francisco, the city with cool summers and a rich tradition of basketball, and the place where Phil Smith was born. When he was born, he was such a big boy. <laughs> he was one of my biggest children. Phil Smith had talent, dedication, and the drive for perfection. All things that eventually made him a star with the Golden State Warriors. I was so grateful just knowing that I had a professional player that could play the game the way he did. Growing up, Smith and his brothers would play basketball every chance they could at Hamilton Park and Recreation. Basketball is probably the biggest thing on the planet to the Smith family. I remember him not missing a shot. And I was saying to myself, I can't beat this dude playing. He don't miss. <laughs> but he was what I call a perfectionist. We would stay in there for hours. We'd leave the gym at like maybe 3, 4 in the morning. I'm just so grateful to the University of San Francisco that gave him a chance. My dad walked onto the University of San Francisco. He became an All-American. He took the University of San Francisco to the NCAA tournament multiple times. He led the team in scoring three years in a row, averaged over 20 points a game. He could score, he could pass, he could defend, he could rebound. It wasn't anything he couldn't do on the floor. It made the game look easy. It all clicked and he got a chance to uh, pursue the big time. For their second draft pick, the Warriors stayed in the local area, selecting Phil Smith, rated by his college coach as the best guard ever to play at the University of San Francisco. As a rookie, he became a key contributor to the team's 1975 championship. First year player from the University of San Francisco, Phil Smith surprised everyone with his scoring ability. For a rookie to come into the league and to have as big an impact in the team's success was, was a rarity. Phil, extremely talented, very athletic, one of those guys who'd drive in and dunk on people and to jump and handle the ball and shoot the ball. His time in the NBA, he was really flawless in his ability to shoot and make decisions and, you know, he was just a real great player. Philip carved his niche when he had a signature left-hand dunk in the championship game. It comes through the lane with a pass to Smith and puts a move on Jim Back in those days, you didn't really see guys doing that that often. Phil would be as good or better player today than he was then. When Phillip made it to the pros, guys that had never picked up basketballs in their life, robbers, muggers, thieves, began to pick up basketball. You saw a revolution in the neighborhood because this one dude from the neighborhood had made it. The greatest show on earth was the Golden State Warriors playing against whoever because it featured our brother and we loved him and he was everything to us. Smith played nine seasons with the Warriors, the San Diego Clippers, and the Seattle Supersonics. He was a two-time NBA All-Star and was selected to the All-NBA second team before his career was cut short due to injury. After his career, Smith focused on his family and raising his five children. Each of his children graduated from college and all of them are successful in their respective careers. He didn't want to be known as the NBA player. He wanted to be known as a father, educator, he was a motivator, and a community figure, first and foremost, bigger than basketball. It's critical that the Warriors and the NBA celebrates Black History Month. There's a rich history where we are dominating, but there's also a history where we once weren't allowed to play. And that just speaks to my dad's legacy. I remember him coming back to the old neighborhood after he made it to the NBA. And he came over there in the schoolyard and showed some of us the correct way to shoot the basketball. You know, he liked showing people and helping other people. That he was an outstanding person. And I've always said this, as great as he was as a basketball player, he was a much better person. In 2001, the University of San Francisco retired his jersey as he continued to make a profound impact on those around him. I was so happy when he grew up because I was so proud. I just look grateful and thankful. He epitomized what you should be. Someone with talent, someone who gave everything he had every time he put his uniform on, and someone who was a terrific, wonderful human being off the court.